Hello there, people, and welcome to a very special episode of the Full Force News Burst. I am Christopher McLeod, aka Diagnostic 80, and I just got a ruddy big delivery from the awesome folks at Hasbro to celebrate their upcoming PulseCon 2021 event, which is happening next weekend on the 22nd and 23rd of October. I have to emphasize just how ruddy big this delivery is. I'll shut up now and open a box, yeah? Right then, this thing is massive and it's over there. This is crazy, honestly, how ridiculously huge this box is. <laughs> Look at that. I think this is a record. Uh, so first of all, I'm gonna start by saying, so it's not, it's completely, you know, sealed both ways. You are, you are getting real time in a, in a weird way here. Um, I should have prepared a knife, which I kind of almost have prepared. I'm so prepared. Uh, there we, that's not a knife. <laughs> that ain't a knife. That isn't a knife either. I don't think that was the quote. That's a knife. Yeah, I should, I should start by saying, wow, thank you Hasbro. This is amazing. I mean, I know I do a lot of, um, you know, promotion and I just back the table. I know I know I do a lot of promotion and marketing for free, if you know what I mean. This isn't you can't really call this free anymore. Actually getting things for it, which is amazing. Yeah, so thanks to the amazing folks at Hasbro for this. Uh, don't worry, all this will be cut out. How suggestive is this? Not too suggestive. There we go. This is a family show. Big old box to deal with on camera. Okay, so the first layer has been shared and we get this. PulseCon, as well PulseCon 2021, which is amazing. So that's, that's impressive, isn't it? How does this even open? Right, so the front kind of opens up like so, goodness, like this is Unreal. It's my favorite word at the moment. I use Unreal more than any other word. So we've got this to start with, this kind of giant postcard here. Gives all the information on it, Hasbro PulseCon 2021. Uh, we are celebrating the return of Hasbro PulseCon, this epic Hasbro delivery containing several exclusive products. I'd say several is probably the right word for it, yeah. Um, from iconic entertainment brands including Marvel, Star Wars, G.I. Joe, Power Rangers, Fortnite, Nerf, Transformers, and Ghostbusters. See full product descriptions below uh, before I uh, kind of give all that information away. Um, I'm just going to show you uh, how cool the stuff is in here. Uh, please read before posting. Never do that. I just clearly haven't, have I? I'm uh, literally doing this as I go. Free product. So thank you very much, Hasbro. Uh, this is unbelievable. Oh, I can't believe Like, just to get a sneak peek of what's inside. Are you serious? Like, I, also, I can't even put this anywhere. I've got, a, I've got a literal dining table next to me, and there's still nowhere to put this bloody thing. Wow. This is nuts. So, what have we got first? Let's. Well, this is a big, this is, a, let's get this one out. Slide this one out. Oh my word. Okay, so to start off with, Marvel Legends, the Infinity Saga. We've got uh, Iron Man, Mark Death, I would call that. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Um, and Thanos, very, look at that. Oh my. And I do, I do, I, I, I do must admit, I do love uh, Marvel Legends. I've got, uh, lots of different Marvel Legends and not this one. So thank you very much Hasbro, you absolute beauties. Show the back there as well, gorgeous box too. That's really cool. And it's got like Tony's like weathered head in there. <laughs> Everyone has wanted a, a Tony Stark weathered head uh, since Marvel began. Um, and look at that, it's a and you've got like two different hand sculpts for the old gloves there, isn't it? Yeah, for old uh, Thanos. Amazing. Thanos has got his uh, withered head as well. 
It's the Withered Heads 2 pack. This is awesome. Thank you so much. Lovely, great start. All right, got another, got another big smalls here. Check this out. Oh my word. Hell yes. Friggin' Star Wars Cantina Showdown Black Series. Bit of Obi-Wan, bit of Ponda Baba, and a bit of Dr. Evazan. That is incredible. That is unreal. Even with the can, like the little, look at that. Look at the little Dio set it comes with. That is exceptional. Oh, I love that. And then that lovely uh, image on the back. Apologies for the lighting at the moment. It's just like, it's just really shiny and cool. Love that. Love that. Star Wars, the Power of the Force box as well. Like very vintage packaging. I love that so much. That is incredible. Love that. Love it. Thank you. I, I to be perfectly honest, I was a big Black Series collector. I collected Black Series up until about, I want to say right up until Rogue One. I was really into getting K2SO. Like it was really, it was really difficult to find initially for me. Like I had to go to about 50 Toys R Us's, rest in peace. Okay, next up, oh, we've got some more stuff. What have we got here? We've got the Emperor's Throne Room Vintage Collection. Is there some sort, I think there's some sort of sleeve on this or like, yeah, I think there is. Yeah, there's a bit of tape on it, but I'm gonna cut that because I want to see, I want to show what's inside this. Uh, people are like, oh, what are you trying it for? Well, you know, I, just, I want to see what's inside. I want to see the good stuff. I want to show you the good stuff. Yeah, there's like tape everywhere. There's like tape on every single thing. So for some reason, I got a knife out, but it's actually more like a spoon in terms of uh, its sharpness. Okay, so yeah, here we go. Let's, let's bust this out. So the sleeve comes off. Oh my goodness me. Oh my word. Oh, I could have the wrong way around, but yeah. Look at that. Look at that for a box. Are you? That is bonkers, isn't it? That is absolutely bonkers. Let's get a nice close up of old uh, Palpatine. <laughs> I know it's Palpatine, I'm just joking. Look at that. Oh, that is great. That is amazing. What an awesome box. See? Now you're all you're all saying you're all saying, oh don't open it. You'll get, you know, you'll get. I don't know. And the little thing slides out the bottom there with his little uh, force lightning. Look. Force lightning, a lightsaber, and, he, and a stick. There we go. Brilliant. Absolutely superb. Okay, so Star Wars Vintage Collection, Star Wars Black Series, and Marvel Legends uh, have all been checked off the, uh, the list. You know, this is the full force, so I obviously we'll be keeping any G.I. Joe related items till last. But that's just because, it, you know, that's what we, that's, that's the G.I. Joe show, for goodness sake. If you don't like it, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> what else have you got in here? Let's, let's, oh, let's some more. Oh, nice. We've got the Chris McCloud body Thor uh, from the, in, the Infinity Saga line here from Avengers Endgame. That's really fun. Uh, I love the idea of it. I love the fact they modelled uh, an action figure on my own physique. It's just, just brilliant. Love it. Ooh, nice. Oh, it's something I didn't show before. Some of that like lovely artwork on the side too. I love that colour. Love that colour in. Yeah, it's lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. This is this is ridiculous. This is honestly, this is ridiculous. Thank you, Hasbro, but this is far too much. <laughs> I love this. Mighty Morphin Finster. Power Rangers Lightning Collection. I love what Hasbro are doing with Power Rangers, honestly. I it's it's a line too too much for me to be collecting, honestly. Um, you know how it is, guys. But I love what they've been doing with the Power Rangers stuff. And I've so many times gone in to stores into, you know, seen online some of the figures that are available and just wanted to just pick some up and keep buying them. But thankfully Hasbro has sent me a couple of these delivery boxes, um, you know, since the full force has become any kind of new source and we've been we've I've probably had like this is probably maybe the third delivery i think uh count there was one for there was one for fan fest there was one for the snake eyes movie and there was one because this one it might be four because i'm pretty sure there might have been one for last year's PulseCon. i think there was so i've got quite a few power rangers figures now thanks to that 
and these are great and this is brilliant see look the little the little putties look the little putty dudes that he makes and then they come to life and fight power rangers um very awesome love that finster fantastic he's all he reminds me actually of gwildor from masters of the universe movie there's that similar vibe going on there i know they're completely different looking and completely different characters i just think there's something very similar going on in there their little kind of mouths little kind of goofy faces oh. <laughs> fantastic meow souls from fortnite this is great meow souls shadow i should say this is freaking hilarious okay so okay look at the look what you get with this pack obviously the figure and then that amazing pink and gold weight set and everything it's just brilliant I, when they, this was revealed online, I had a conversation with someone. I was just saying, like, I would, I'm not going to get it, but I would love that at some point. Like, if I see it out or, you know, if the opportunity arises, I'll probably buy it because I just love that gym equipment. It's so funny and brilliant. And the figure's great too. Like, again, they're doing amazing things, Hasbro, in the Fortnite license. So, love that so much more than you can imagine I, i'm so happy to get this i was not expecting that in there at all brilliant i think more for sky and ollie amazing again some look at that look at that giant bulbous thing with the wings again it's good that they make figures utilizing my physique in the body sculpt um, this is great. This is so cute. I love it. Love the little camera she's got as well. That's cool. Sky. That's well neat. Some great accessories in this one too. Again, like never in a million years would I have. It's not that I don't like them or don't think they're any good. It's just, you know, it's another line too, too much for me to collect. But I'm so happy I've got a couple of these. These are so cute. And yeah, so thank you very much again. Fortnite, Reckon Fortnite. I've kind of done this a little bit all over the place. Had I realized that there were multiple things for like the same, you know, for the same brand, I probably would have done it by, by brand. I haven't done that. So it's a little bit more, way. Oh my goodness. Just keeps getting cooler and cooler. Trapper Wolf, Black Series, The Mandalorian, and a beautiful box as well. Oh, I love that. Let's just put that in focus, hopefully. Absolutely love it. Isn't that great? Really, really love that. Very cool box as well. Lovely stuff. A bit more Black Series. Where's it all going? Where's it all going? I would say we're near the end, but there's still loads in this box. And now, who are you going to call? The police? No. <laughs> Ghostbusters. And we've got podcasts, and this is wicked. Again, really looking forward to the new Ghostbusters movie, uh, for one. Love the old, the, the original Ghostbusters movies, like, so much. And again, I have to say, really love what Hasbro are doing on the Ghostbusters brand with the figures. So I'll hold this up, you're going to have to wave it around all the time. Um, and this is so cool. So podcast is a character obviously coming up in Afterlife. And yeah, he has, a, like, and I, I think I like it so much because obviously I have my own podcast and uh, that's how I feel like I would have been as a child if podcasts had been about when I was a young boy, which they were not. So yeah, uh, this kind of hits on a, on a couple of levels. I like that a lot so much. I'm really looking forward to it. Look at the little, the little marshmallow man in there, isn't that adorable? I love those things, those little, uh, little mini Stay Puffs. And the goggles there too. I just a little remote control, I, just dope. And there's a piece in there, which, it, it builds the Sentinel Terror Dog, which is pretty dope. Yeah, I'm into that. I love how he's got like, <laughs> he's got like marshmallow web gear. <laughs> Because if you look on the back, it's like he's wearing it like, you know, like a G.I. Joe would wear his secondary. It's brilliant. Love that. Thank you so much. Again, loving this. Again, I don't own any of the things that have come in this package. So like I am like really happy right now. This is brilliant. But wait, there's more. Next up, we have Halo Nerf. Very dope. A little needler. 
a little needler. I love Nerf, like, so much. I have many Nerf weapons, and my son, my wife, Kate, and I uh, are pretty, like, well into Nerf, I would say. And thanks to Hasbro now, uh, we've added even more to our arsenal that we can run around and shoot each other with. Um, and this is really cool looking. And I cannot wait to bust this out and start shooting things with. Um, very awesome, very awesome. Thank you again, Has Hasbro, for this Halo Nerf needler. It says at the bottom here, 343 Industries, right? And at first, as I kind of part, as glanced over, I thought it said 343 injuries. Like that's how many injuries have occurred in the creation of this. <laughs> Brilliant, love that, thank you. We are getting close. Got two more left. Uh, again, I'm saving the G.I. Joe thing for last, but the first up we have at the last two, Transformers Beast Wars Ravage, Covert Agent Ravage, I should say. Isn't that dope? Really, really, again, like this was one. Um, now I tend to be a masterpiece collector and then I kind of shifted away a little bit from masterpiece just because it was getting a little bit pricey to be a completist in that arena. Um, but have really, since you know, in, in recent years, been buying a lot of the kind of, you know, Siege and uh, Kingdom and so on and so forth and you know the odd generation selects and this is another one that I saw and thought that ah, looks brilliant and really from admiring from afar I was hoping I would get my hands on it at some point and I very fortunately have now today uh, again beautiful box as well some lovely uh, artwork on the back there very nice liking this uh yeah really cool little Ravage tape there as well. I love the little dio background as well. Really beautiful stuff. Really gorgeous artwork and you can see in there like really lovely, lovely stuff. So yes, thank you again, Hasbro. Transformers. It's another brand. Check off the list. Okay. Here we are. It's the G.I. Joe item. And I'm very excited because I can see what it is. It is. Master of Disguise, Zoratan, classified series with this wonderful box where you can, look at that, where you can change the, the faces on the box. You've got, let's, well, let's start with, there we go. Start with the man himself, Zartan. And then we've got Zartan with his Dreadnought logo skull mask on. And then we've got, is that soft or hard? Soft. Soft Master, sorry, it's hard to see in the reflection. Uh, Storm Shadow, Hard Master, and Snake Eyes. So very, very cool, love that. Really neat packaging, absolutely beautiful. Again, there's some like gorgeous artwork on the side there of Zartan, All lovely stuff. We've got his number there, 31, and then all of his kind of like, you know, the key to work out what his specialties are. Now, what do they call that? Oh no, it's just got Master of Disguise Art on it, isn't it? Yeah, really nice, love this. Now obviously you've got the classic classified back card, backer card art, and they've kind of moved some stuff around on here now. And I know we've seen this and kind of already studied it online, but it's nice to see it in hand and really kind of get a few, maybe a few more clues out of it somewhere. Beachhead's got a slightly different color on his arm and face, like they've added some gray in there. Maybe we could see Another beachhead coming out again. Loads of vehicles on there. Like, I feel like there are more vehicles on there than there ever were. I feel like they've added to the vehicles somehow. I'm seeing like, you know, I'm not sure if the, rat the Rattlers probably were on there. I just, I just forget. Um, so much cool stuff on here. Oh, anyway, I love this line. This is my, this is my absolutely love, love favorite line at the moment. Hey, it's classified. Um, and I will be opening this up, so I might as well do it now. I might as well cut these little these little um, bits of tape on the side. Okay, again, I might as well use the spoon the, uh, for the, the, the sharpness of these of this knife. Uh, and so we can go like this. Isn't that brilliant? Got the Dreadnoughts logo there, that side, on the interior of the door. And then we've got the man himself. All of those heads and masks, man. So much stuff, the white bow, oh, the backpack. Yeah, his hood's in there. The neckerchief, the, the sniper rifle, knife, 
uh, pistol and the quiver with the arrows. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I am all about this all day long. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much, Hasbro. I cannot begin to, first of all, there's only like one, at least I don't have to worry about trying to order this now. I know it's improved a lot recently anyway, but it takes some of the stress out of life, that does. Um, so massive thank you for this Master of the Sky Zartan. Massive thank you for all of this crazy stuff. Just double check there's nothing in there. No, that's it. That's it. It's a shame, isn't it? Could have been way more. <laughs> no, seriously, unbelievable. Let's go and have a quick look again, a quick like summary of what was in there. So, Master of Disguise Zartan, classified series, stunning. Um, Covert Agent Ravage, Transformers Generations, I guess. Yeah, Transformers Generations, War for Cybertron Trilogy. Beast Wars, etc., etc. Covert Agent Ravage. Boink. Um, Norf. It's Nerf or nothing. It's Nerf or nothing. Uh, Halo Nerf. Needler. Needler. It sounds like a. The, the, the word Needler sounds like a nickname for one of those like annoying kids in American movies. Hey, Needler. That kind of thing. Ghostbusters podcast. Um, which sounds like a. A Ghostbusters podcast. No, it's the Plasma Series Ghostbusters Afterlife podcast. Very cool. And it's got a piece in there, the torso, in actual fact, of the Sentinel Terror Dog builder figure. So, yeah, that's awesome. Also, I didn't show you the art on the side, did I? Love that. Love that. Brilliant. Star Wars, The Mandalorian Trapper Wolf. Black Series. Brilliant. Really, really nice. Thank you very much. Not one, but two Fortnite figures. The big old deluxe ones. The Victory Royale series, to say the proper term. Uh, Meowsel's Shadow and Sky and Ollie. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you. Um, there was more, though. There was a lot more. Power Rangers. Uh, Lightning Collection. Mighty Morphin Finster. Brilliant. Marvel Legends, Infinity Saga, Endgame Thor, in again his uh, beautiful physique there. For all to admire. For everybody to admire. Well, we've got the Emperor's Throne Room Vintage Collection. Uh, this thing is great, by the way. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, very cool, awesome vintage old school packaging as well. Very reminiscent of the old. 70s and 80s vibe really love that a lot black series again star wars we've got the cantina showdown with obi-wan ponda baba and dr evers everson i've never said his name properly dr everson very cool and uh, again the, the background dio is so awesome isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Tell me it's amazing. I love that. And it's got, I love the vintage. It's so Power of the Force, isn't it? Look at that shine on the box, that kind of like the green in there as well. Oh, there's something really pleasing about seeing that. Um, yeah. This point, in fact, I saw it everywhere for a number of years. And then finally, what we opened first, the Infinity Saga uh, Avengers Endgame, Iron Man and Thanos. The Weathered Head Collection, this one. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. So, yes. <laughs> Hasbro, what are you thinking about? This is insane. How dare you send me all of this amazing free stuff? But very much appreciated. Cannot wait for PulseCon 2021 next week on the 22nd and 23rd of October. I'll be there on the fan wall for G.I. Joe on uh, Saturday, uh, being an idiot as I was for the fan fest, I think I did it for, the earlier this year. It wasn't even last year, it was earlier this year. So I'm looking forward to be able to do that again and cannot wait to see what the G.I. Joe brand team reveal. Can't, can't wait to see what everyone, what all the brands, brands reveal. And uh, once again, I can't believe, cannot believe, Hasbro, that you sent me this. Thank you very much. You'll be getting 
a strongly worded email in the post. That makes no sense. It will be a happy worded email in your email. Right, that's all from me. Thank you for watching this episode of the Full Force News Burst. I'll be back with more probably in the next few seconds because that's how life is, it would appear. And that's good. That's ha I'm happy with that. The busier I can be in my hobby, the better. Like, comment and subscribe. Uh, all, the, all of that stuff, all that stuff that everyone tells you to do that, that I should be telling you to do more often, but I'd rather you just enjoyed yourselves. Thank you for watching. And yeah, like I said, I'll be back uh, on very soon, either with News Burst this week and or, of course, our reactions to everything from PulseCon on Saturday. And our weekly episode, actually, I'll tell you now, our next weekly episode will be a day earlier on the Friday, just basically so that we've got time to do our reactions and get another video out for you Saturday. So you're going to get you know, lots more content just because I, I like doing it. So lucky you, right? Lucky me. Anyway, see you later. Uh, that's it. That's it for this installment of the Full Force News Burst. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. See you next time. And as always, Full Force. Make sure you get involved with the discussion by liking, sharing and commenting on these videos and as always you can keep up with the show after listening by following on Twitter at The Full Force, liking the Facebook page facebook.com forward slash The Full Force and if you would like to contact the show you can message us on either of those platforms with feedback and questions. We also have a Patreon page so if you want to show your support for the show, see your name up in lights on these videos or enjoy exclusive bonus content then check out patreon.com forward slash the full force podcast or click on the link on any of the posts this podcast appears in full force